Good morning, and welcome to our last chapel of the year at St. Thomas Episcopal School. Once again, it is raining outside, so we are stuck indoors together. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Hear us as we sing. open our lips. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our opening hymn is number 711, Seek Ye First the Kingdom of God. from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. I therefore beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. The gifts he gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ until all of us come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. 
We must no longer be children tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love. Now you probably had not remembered that this was the last week of school, am I right? Of course you remembered it's the last week of school. We've all been excited about this for a while, especially this year when our, the second part of our semester has been so strange with all of us staying home, with all of us having school at home, with our parents helping and just watching our teachers on the screen. But I think this is a really good reading for the end of the school year. Because in this letter, Paul is, the St. Paul is telling us that just because we are all one in the church, and we know that we're all one, right? Just as we're all one in the school, we all are brought together and we all have one goal, to be better people, to be better, to learn to live in God's love. But we all have different gifts and we all have different ways of going about that. God has given all of us different gifts. We can't all be teachers because then who would be the students? We can't all be preachers because then who would be sitting in the pews to listen? Everybody has been given different gifts from God. And I wonder if maybe over this last couple of months as we've been in a very different sort of situation, I think all of us may have learned some kinds of gifts that we didn't even know we had. Maybe you learned over this time that you have a gift for making people happy, for making people calm, for making people laugh a little bit in this time when some people are very scared. Maybe you learned that you have a gift for being very organized and making sure that we all do the things that we're supposed to do during the day when maybe all of the usual markers aren't there, when we don't know when things begin and end. Maybe you discovered that you have a gift for teaching yourself, that you could not only teach yourself, but maybe if you have little brothers or sisters, that you were helpful at teaching them. Maybe when it came to some subjects, you could even teach your mom or your dad a little bit about them. We all have different gifts. And a big part of growing up is learning what gifts God has given us and deciding what it is we're going to do with those gifts. Some of you are graduating and leaving St. Thomas, and we wish you all the best, and I wish you all blessings as you go forward. And all, many of you are going to different places. You're going on to different middle schools. You're going to have different teachers. Even the ones, even the ones of us who are staying at St. Thomas are going to have new experiences next year, we're going to learn different things. We're going to learn in different ways. And I would invite each of us to keep our eyes open and pay attention for the gifts that God has given us. Pay attention to the things that we can do that nobody else can do. And not pay so much attention to those things that maybe we aren't as good at as some other people. Not everybody can be the best at everything. And each of us has been given gifts that are important for building up the church and building up the school and making the world a better place. So I would encourage you as we go forward through the summer and into the next school year to think about your gifts. Think about the things that God has put in you to serve the world. Amen. Now let's continue with our prayers. The Lord be with you. 
us pray together our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's say together the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are raised to eternal life. Amen. Now let us say together our school prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. Keep us in thy loving care. Guide us through the live long day, in our work and in our play. Keep us pure and sweet and true in everything we say and do. Amen. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you now and remain with you always. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 293, I Sing a Song of the Saints of God. And I want you to think about the way that God may be calling you to be a saint. Peace to love and serve the Lord.